Let's talk a little bit about chlorella. So unfortunately, I found out that my spirulina culture had died. That's very sad. However, that gave me an opportunity to switch to another type of algae known as chlorella. I bought this starter culture and I put it into my medium and it's been going for about a weekend now and it's already grown quite a lot. My container has gotten a lot greener than it was about a weekend ago. This stuff grows pretty fast and something important for me as I live in a quite cold climate this stuff also grows in the cold unlike spirulina where it required a little bit of warmth in a warm season in order to grow much at all but anyway what are chlorella and their advantage over spirulina or perhaps their many advantages over spirulina chlorella is unlike spirulina which is a very stringy uh, wiggly type of algae Chlorella is a round shaped algae that contains a much higher lipid content than spirulina does. Spirulina is more proteinaceous, chlorella has a higher lipid content. It has more fats, more oils, that kind of stuff. And this makes it very good for creating fuel because you can extract the oil out of this and turn it into things like biodiesel later down the line. As I mentioned just before, Chlorella grows quite fast, faster than spirulina does. This, a few days ago, was almost completely clear. However, it's taken on, a few days later, a very vibrant, bright green colour inside the culture. And that sort of demonstrates, from a visual point of view, the rapid rate of its growth, which is obviously good for productive purposes. A little bit more on the lipids. Spirulina has a way of storing lipids in between its membranes. It's very difficult to extract. Chlorella uses its lipids as a form of energy storage and because of the structure the cell takes and how it stores its lipids, it makes extracting lipids from chlorella a lot easier than say spirulina or some other types of algae and this means that with chlorella you can filter this dry it and then run it through something like a chocolate extractor and actually extract the lipids that way i've even seen footage online of people pressing chlorella using an oil press and extracting the oil that way with something like spirulina, that is much more difficult to achieve. And it's also important to note that while not as effective as spirulina, chlorella still is a powerful agent in scrubbing CO2 from the atmosphere. So it's good also from an environmental perspective as well. All of this makes chlorella an ideal candidate for a solar biofuel feedstock, which is what I intend to investigate further in the future. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed me talking a little bit about chlorella and stay tuned to see future content surrounding my research on this type of algae. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.